Hey guys, remember this? So before we begin, I need to give a quick shout out to PowerPoint 45 for making Lucy Launcher Pro. It's such an amazing app and it makes our life really really awesome and uh, it makes the experience on our devices really really unique. So that's why I chose Lucy Launcher Pro for this theme. So before we begin, you need to download all of these applications. So once you have downloaded all these applications, you can begin with the tutorial. So without any further ado, let's get started. Before we begin, your phone will look something like this. So first you need to install all the applications that I told previously and all those links will be in the description. So first you need to install them. So once you're done, next you need to go into uh, the app drawer and open Lucid Launcher Pro. So this is going to act as the main uh, main launcher for setup. So this launcher is going to give the awesome uh, effects and the awesome features. So before we begin, we need to first go into the settings and tweak a few settings. So for that, go into settings, go to main menu and you need to select the scroll animation as cover flow that's what i have selected if you want something else you can choose from this list but uh, for the optimal experience i recommend cover flow and then for the launch orientation select portrait you can also have auto and uh, you can have two uh, method um, uh, two layouts but uh, i prefer uh, to have it in uh, portrait then the page opacity uh, should be 50 percent then uh, you need to untick the full screen and transparent navigation bar transparent status bar use dark theme and use all these options just like i have all right Next, you need to go to sidebar setting. Then uh, you can do the same thing. You need to just select the same options that I'm having. For the icon size, I have selected 65. Next, going back, going into the app drawer. In the app drawer style, you can select grid. That's what I prefer. Then if you want to hide any apps, you can go to hidden apps and uh, hide apps. Then number of columns should be 4 and uh, the vertical spacing should be 0. Again going into icon size I have selected 80. Um, then all these other options should be the same for the optimal experience. Next going into home page settings the scroll animation should be page stack. That's uh, also something you can pick you can pick something else but uh, for the optimal experience i recommend page stack next you need to select all these other options as well you can untick the page indicators 
it will give a nice effect then for the folder style you can uh, see how uh, how transparent you want this uh, box to be so I have selected somewhere around here and uh, then you can select the app label colors and everything next going into icon size again that's 80 and uh, app icon labels I have unselected it so now going back into the browser settings we can select all the settings like this and next going into the most important one the icon so for this say I am going to go with moonshine uh, you can select whatever theme pack you want but uh, I really like moonshine so I'm going with moonshine then under advanced settings you can back up once you have done everything you can back up everything so that you'll have the setup going once you have all the important uh, lucid launcher settings done you need to make it the default so for that you need to go into settings go to your home and you can select lucid launcher this is the process for Cyanogen Mod 12 or any AOSP ROM if you are using something else you can uh, go into apps then you can uh, deselect whatever is your default home screen and then select uh, lucid launch pro next once that is done you need to go into themes and you need to select photo this is really important under that go select style fonts and that's about it yeah so you select those two and now we have photo as the theme so as you see this is photo next as a wallpaper I'm going to be using a wallpaper from the Stark icon pack so for that I'm going to quickly open the Stark icon pack and move down to find the wallpaper and next I'm going to set as the wallpaper so that's done now that the wallpaper has been set next I'm going to be adding widgets so the first widget I'm going to be adding is a super widget so I'm going to be selecting the widget and then I'm going to quickly select it so the widget I'm going to be using is from the flat rear pack so I'm going to be selecting that and then I'm going to be selecting the exact skin that I want so what I'm going to be using in this is this the polygonal clock so I'm going to be selecting that and then I need to adjust the size a bit alright next I'm going to increase the scaling alright and also I'm going to change the widget tap on action so for that I'm going to be using an app uh, I'll be using timely for this because that's what I use the most alright once the clock has been set then you need to go and add the next one so the next one I'm going to be using is the eye in the sky widget so for that I'm going to be using Climacon's light as the theme and the text color should be white and the background color should be transparent completely transparent so once that is done you can remove the edit dot and the show refresh dot and click on ok next we can quickly quickly place that there next you need to do a bit of adjusting to get the optimal sizes so once that is done you need to go to the second screen so in the second screen I'm going to be adding the power amp widget power amp is the music player that I use every day because that's the best music player available for Android so these are the options I'm going to be selecting under the edit window and I'm going to be using the power amp widget in the next screen on the third screen I'm going to be adding a today widget that's uh, where I'm going to get all my 
daily items, all the birthdays and uh, all the tasks that I do for that day. Once that, that widget has been added, next I'm going to be adding the feed widget. That's where I'm getting all my daily news. So I will select this. On the fourth screen, I'm going to be adding a month widget. This is a calendar widget where it will show the day and uh, all the preview. This calendar is really, really amazing and uh, I highly recommend it to everyone. Finally, I'm going to be adding a calculator widget uh, because I'm going to be using this for classwork. It's, it comes very handy because it's transparent and it looks really really nice so I think uh, you will also like this for the month widget we need to do a small adjustment and for that I'm going to be quickly opening the month widget and changing the theme into the transparent one that is this one so once that is done it would look perfect so now we are done setting up the home screen let me quickly show you guys how to add folders like this so these are unique folders they look really nice and they just pop up and we can have a lot of apps and uh, other games on this home screen and it looks really really nice so to add uh, apps to the home screen first I'm going to go into the app drawer and select an app so say I want to add the calendar to the home screen, we'll be holding on top of that and select add to home. Then the app will be right here. Next, we can add one more, say contact, add to home. And then we have all the apps like this. So next, in order to add a folder, then you need to hold on an empty screen and select add folder. So we have the folder right here, then we can select and drag all these apps that were added to the home screen and we can quickly change the name to uh, other and uh, yeah that's about it. That's how you add apps to the home screen. You can change the layout uh, the way you want. So I'm quickly going to be adding my ca uh, camera back into the place. Alright, that's done. So the initial design of the UI is now done. So we also have the theme Cyanogen Mod 12 theme installed and we have the app screen on the left. We have the browser on the right. So let me quickly preview that. So the browser is loading. So I'm going into AndrewDollar.com and as you see the website has successfully loaded and it's right on the home screen. How convenient is that? So once the initial design of the UI is completed, next we need to add apps to the favorite screen. So for that, say if you want to add Chrome, you are going to hold on top of that and select add to favorites. So now when I scroll from the right I see chrome in there but I don't want chrome on my list so I'm going to be removing that from the list so if not if uh, whatever apps that you want you can quickly add them into the favorite list and you can quickly access it from the left this is again another feature that is built into this launcher which is why I highly recommend this launcher because it's so versatile Next, let me show you guys how to add a navigation bar right here. For that, you need root access. So if you have, obviously if you are running Cyanogen Mod 12, you are having root access. So quickly open build prop editor and grant super user permissions. Then you need to go into edit. Then you need to add a new line right here. Q E M U then dot H W dot main keys equals to zero 
and that's it then you click on the save button and once you say save build prop you're done now you need to quickly reboot your device So as you see the navigation bar buttons are also here. So now we can quickly access Google now if you want. Well that's it. Now you have a unique design on your device. Now you can go ahead and enjoy it. So what do you think about this theme? Do let me know in the comment section below and if you really like it feel free to hit that thumbs up button and feel free to subscribe to Android Dollar for more videos like this in the future. So until I see you guys in my next video, this is Pano signing out.